Um, is this an ever-present design dilemma with regard to what the typeface itself says? Are you looking at me? <laughs> <laughs> I, I don't know. You know, this, this idea of neutrality in Helvetica uh, keeps coming up, but I, I don't have that feeling about it at all. Perhaps because I was sort of around before Helvetica <laughs> and remember its arrival on the scene. And this was not a neutral event. I mean, this was something quite stunning when it first appeared. And so this, this idea that something set in Helvetica is sort of completely uh, neutral and, 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 and gray and, and doesn't have any personality and so on is very far from my own view of the typeface, my own experience of the typeface. Um, and indeed, I, I don't really have a sense that any typeface is neutral. Uh, it always has uh, characteristics, or it does it. It's, good typeface. So, you know, I, I mean, I, I understand the question, but I don't really have an answer to it because, for me, the, the premise of the question doesn't exist. I mean, I, I don't think of Helvetica as neutral, so, no. yeah. No, no, the same we would have to say is what is in the universe. The universe is also 50 years old, and, uh, you know, it's yeah. also neutral. Or is it not? Yep. Yeah. This, this, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Good enough. Tom Finney, I see you in the front row. And you're